Okay, what is up YouTube? And uh, <clears throat> today I'll be talking about one of the hardest decisions that I've ever had to make in my, like, the recent 10 years of my existence, let's just say that. But it can be, you know, can potentially be one of the smartest decisions that I have to make, or that I have made, I guess, at this point in time. See, but you know, this decision will generally really affect like everything that I have accomplished for the last 10 years. Again, like I said, last 10 years of my existence, really. And it's it's a big deal. It's, been, it's really a big deal. That's why I'm making this video. <laughs> you know, so, uh, well, just a short recap, I guess. In the last 10 years I've been a lot of things. I mean, in my professional career, I have started like from being a drafter and then going up to being a, a building admin officer to a preventive maintenance supervisor and then a designer. And then uh, I was a project sales engineer. I kind of switched course from really applied engineering to, to sales. And it, it, it was a big, uh, big leap, big step in my part, but it proved to be one of the better choices, I guess, in terms of uh, career move. And then after that, I was promoted sales leader and then sales manager, and just recently I've become a business unit manager. And looking back, really, I, you could say I've come a long way. I mean, from uh, being just a drafter to heading out an entire business unit, and having people under me reporting to me and you know trying to lead them in a certain direction yeah i mean come a long way uh, i'd say i've kind of climbed the corporate ladder in the sense that you know the past 10 years it has uh well i would say pretty quick well, what happened um i'm 35 years old right now if y'all don't know that uh you know that now uh <clears throat> yeah uh yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in there already. Uh, kind of established myself as, you know, in terms of career-wise, I have established myself in the Philippines. Uh, for that matter, and this decision that I have made, or we have made as a family, really doesn't affect that because I kind of have to turn my back on all of those. I don't think it will negate anything that I've accomplished, don't get me wrong, but I, I just really have to turn my back on it and to, I guess, move on, hopefully, potentially into bigger things. That's one of the reasons why, you know, we, we chose this path, basically. I'd be, probably I'll be talking about uh, the decision process and how we really came up with, you know, where I'm heading right now. I mean, I know you're like, where am I at right now? Uh, I'm walking aimlessly, basically. People looking, but it, it's, it's something that I have to do, I guess. It's something that, um, it's something that, it's just something that I have to do. It's basically that. Um, it's no joke. 10 years is, I mean, no joke. One of the things that I've gone through, the people that I've met, the relationships that I've built, you know, the, the career that I have established for myself and for my family. It's no joke. I mean, we have gone through a lot and it's, it, again, it's, it's a decision that we came up with. And as a family, talking about my family again, the past 10 years, um, more importantly than my career, I've become a husband and a father to two really, you know, beautiful daughters. If y'all see my Instagram or Facebook, they're, they're always there. And they're like, they're my inspiration, my wife, my two kids, they, they always see like the good in me and just, I mean, give me inspiration really on just moving on and uh, facing the, the challenges head on. They are a big part of where I'm going. They are a big part of the decision making. At the same time, they are a big part of 
point I need to say leave. Uh, not turn my back, so never turn back my, my back on family, but there's certain sacrifices as to say that, we, that needs to be done for this decision to work and for this decision to really come to fruition. Let's just say that. Let's see if y'all can guess where I'm at. And right now, that's some sort of an idea of where I am. Uh, if you don't know it yet, I'm, I'm rocking the, the shirt from the release. It's a local Filipino brand of clothing. Y'all check them out. I'll put the link in the description. Shout out to Loet and Jared, They're my homeboys back in college. And uh, no sponsorship, though. <laughs> this is not free. I pay for it. And I'm rocking it until I reach my destination uh, of the decision that I was talking about. So let's just see. Uh, where, am I, where am I going right now? So, okay. Is that? Is that? Is that? Okay. okay, I think I got it. So, okay, let's just cut to the chase. The decision is for me to get an MBA in. It's a career move, I guess, in a way, but I'll be a student again. That's one thing, because if y'all know me, if you know me back in college, I like to study. It's, it's not one of the things that I want to do. It's not, I, 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 I just don't like it. But as daunting as that may sound to get my MBA, I'm going to get my MBA overseas. What? Yeah, I, I, I did. I applied and I got a spot to get my MBA uh, overseas. And maybe that's one of the big factors why I'm telling you it's, it's, it's a decision that, you know, as I dig into this bad uh, thigh, which is, well, kind of is, uh, it's a clue where I'm at right now. So, yeah. Um, getting my MBA is always one thing, and getting it overseas in, is another because, again, I have to not really say goodbye to what I've achieved the past 10 years, but more of, you know, put it on hold. You know what I'm saying? Like, put everything that I've done, uh, and just start from scratch all over again in a different country, for that matter, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, that's good. That's good. I'm gonna dig into this sweet mango and uh, sticky rice a little bit later after I devour the coconut juice. You know, talking to my uh, college professor before, he, he did say that if you are, you know, thinking of getting an MBA in the Philippines, there's only like three or four schools worth getting it from. So that really narrows it down, especially with the you know, location. And so I have to work, and it's two years. So it's really some of a no-brainer if, if you're in my situation at that time. Well, more to that after I eat this very gorgeous meal. Oh. Okay, <clears throat> well. Some, some of y'all might be thinking now, I'm gonna study in Thailand, I'm not gonna get my MBA in Thailand. Um, but, yeah, no, <laughs> it's just I've been I'm transiting here, I've been here for five hours already, <laughs> and there's really nothing for me to do other than just walk around and eat some food. And I did, I think I ate a lot, <laughs> I ate a lot more than I should with, with you know, with the flight coming up, but. Um, yeah, y'all, y'all see, y'all see pretty, uh, soon enough where, I, where we're going and where I'm getting my MBA. But yeah, it's gonna be exciting. I'm excited. I'm scared and excited at the same time. Uh, uh, I haven't felt like this in a long time. <laughs> Last time I felt like this was uh, during my wedding. I'll be like before my wedding and for the board exam. And you know, it's kind of it's it's a weird feeling if some of y'all that have done it, like got married or took the board exam, you might kind of have an idea of how I'm feeling right now. But uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting. Again, no, I'm not going to study in Thailand. No, I'm not going to get my MBA in Thailand, nor am I going to stay here for very long. I'm just waiting for my flight, maybe a couple hours 
It'll be fine. Show you where we're going. Alright. So, see ya. And if y'all be wondering, yes, I am kind of sick right now. That's why my voice is very nasally out. I think I've had a slight cold and some coffee in my voice. Oh, kind of, eh, you know, not really very well. So, you know, with the flight coming up, with a long flight coming up, there's a hint. But yeah, long flight coming up, I don't, I don't want to be sick. So, please pray for me for my health. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna pass, but where I'm going, it's gonna be very difficult. It's gonna be very, very difficult if. If I stay this way in a situation like this, so yep. Again, we're not staying in Thailand. Just waiting for the flight to go out, and then we'll see. Stay out a couple of more hours to go after the flight. A couple more hours to go. Spend the night somewhere. Y'all see, y'all see in this video. So yeah, man. Again, I'll see y'all.